Hello everybody, I'm BC and welcome to another episode of Nomads. I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying the episodes. Uh, we have been going with uh, much bigger builds lately. The last episode was pretty interesting. We got some off-road rides as we were checking out in a little hilly area here. Uh, I was going to go with a different theme this week, but uh, there was a, a last-minute sub submission to the workshop that sort of fit another theme, which, of course, as you can see by the thumbnail, is bugs. And uh, it is really interesting some of the creativity that people have with some of the things. And the first one we're going to check out is the SGEV Fire Ant by Squeals64. Uh, build time is 49 seconds. It's a six-wheel vehicle in the shape of a fire ant. Uh, small to trim generator, two by three cockpit, six buggy wheels, uh, three interconnected uh, compact containers, and there we go, double mounted suspension and a wide wheel base. It ha gives extreme agility and mobility, and it does. As you can see, it's a relatively cheap build. Now, I was gonna do this episode in my survival world, but unfortunately, it doesn't matter where I go, I have this, this unbelievable leg. So uh, even trying to get out of draw range, it's still pretty bad. So we're going to keep doing this in survival, but there you go. There's the part count, 76 frames, 60 plates, and so on and so forth. And there it is. It's a compact little design. It's really fun to drive. Uh, suspension might be able to be tightened up a little bit, but it's not too bad. So let's take it for a spin, get a uh, zoom out, of course. And uh, it's really cute. I like it. It's really fun, the creativity. Let's try to see how this thing does on hills. Uh, that front end might catch a few things, but it should be relatively okay. I love. I just love the way the the, the suspension and the wheels and all that stuff react with the ground. Like the physics are quite. That's a strong ant. Yes, this is definitely one ant you don't want in your house. It's about as big as your house. It was definitely a fun little thing. It's more than oh, it's a little top heavy. Oh, let's fix this. Okay, I tell you, my my driving is making these builds look bad. It's no wonder I lost so many rovers back in the day. And back when we had all the holes in the ground, I was it's a daily thing. I'll right, go this way. Stay away from the really really uneven terrain. See what we can do up here. So we can. Climb up on the little hillscape here. Yeah, we had stuff like that back in the day. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And down it goes. And, ooh, I landed it. Perfect. So there we go. That is the, the SGEV Fire Ant by Squeals64. Uh, there will be a link in the description down below to check it out. Or you can go to the Steam Workshop, check it out for yourself, and give them a big thumbs up. Next up, we have B by Propulsicular Ray. Now, even though it is a B, it does not, it's actually a ground vehicle. It doesn't fly, but still, as you can see by the, the blurry thumbnail, it is a fairly, fairly detailed build. Uh, there's build cost. Again, it's a relatively cheap build. Uh, the only thing that would really cost you anything would be the reinforced frame by the looks of it. And there it is. A lot of wheels on this one, but... It is a fairly mobile vehicle. Let's go check it out. Get out into that third person. I gotta remember to save it with the view, zoom out. I keep loading up the save, every, same save file every time. Uh, here we go. This is a big B. I like the pincher at the end there, at uh, the front. Oh yes, that's the bad way. Uh, as you can see, it's got a small deuterium generator. It's got 10 wheels. It's uh, 10 suspension, of course. It's got a lot of, a lot of power to take out a tree. We went into some detail with the, the rounded and slope parts to try to get some details into the build, which is great. And again, as I said many times before, having this coloring option has changed the game so much. Like, you know, you try to build something like this in white and it doesn't look like anything much, but you throw a little bit of yellow, a little bit of black in there and you got yourself a giant bee. Now, uh, if he can redesign this, try to get some flight in it, and then we got a real B. That's a fun little one. Uh, really maneuverable, and I hit just hit a lag spike as I hit a tree. But all in all, great build. Uh, as you saw, it was relatively cheap. Doesn't take long to build. It was like a minute four, I do believe. 
And that is it. That is the B by Crepuscular Ray. Uh, the link will be in the description down below for uh, direct downloads. And you can also check it out in Steam Workshop. Give a big thumbs up on this one and check it out for yourself. And finally, we have the Heron 01 by Marcus Aquila. Build times a minute four, small air freighter, stable, and easy to fly. I chose this one because to me it actually looked like a moth and sort of, sort of fit this theme with a, a bee and an ant and, and a moth. Uh, you turn your generator, two terminals, compact, 24 compact containers, uh, all connected, two conveyor connectors, four headlights, and a solar beacon. And again, relatively cheap build. It's got a little more reinforced frames in it and uh, Mark II plating. It does have some quantum electronics, so it's a, it has a, more of a, I wouldn't say late game, but mid game build. But it's a nice design. Uh, the little colored soul beacon at the end there, which adds just just the right amount of color and highlighting. So let's go ahead and check it out and take a first spin. And again, yes, I know I got to remember to save that, and I will do that for the next one. But as you can see, it sort of looked like a moth to me, so that's why that's why I chose it. And off we go. You could almost say it could be a little dragonfly too, because of the tail. Flies pretty good. It's, uh, I believe, it gets up to. I think it's. He said seventy-two kilometers an hour. It's a really, really creative craft. I, it's just amazing, like the, the different types of designs that you see people come up with, and that's what. Ooh, that's true. That's what really makes this game unique in its own way. Is you can do, well, I'm sure there's other games like this, but like the freedom of what you have you can do in this game is just unbelievable. Uh, I didn't start realizing how much creativity there was until the workshop came out. Because then I actually started seeing more than just uh, the random screenshots. People were actually sharing their builds. And there's a few people I am going to be keeping an eye on. Uh, I know Tang X69 is working really hard, bringing out a lot of big builds definitely want to su subscribe to on the workshop if you want but this is it this is the, the heron 01 by marcus aquila and you can check it out in the steam workshop there will also be a link down below like with all the builds to check it out for yourself and there we have it another three creative unique builds by some really creative people in the community that show just the limitless possibilities that is the world of planet nomads hope you guys enjoyed this one this was definitely uh Definitely a creative one. Uh, don't forget to swing by the Steam Workshop. Check these guys out. Uh, give them a big thumbs up on their build. Subscribe to them if you want to check out some other stuff. And until next time, happy nomading.